Hi, I'm Greg Manis. I'm a ski instructor here at Palisades Tahoe. Today, I want to talk to you about balance. It's something that I see in beginners, intermediate, and advanced skiers where they are in the aft position when they ski instead of centered and balanced over their skis. What happens is when you're in the aft position, you find that you become very tired quickly puts a lot of pressure on your quads, makes your quads tired very quickly. Today I'm going to show you how to stay in balance so you can ski longer and not have tired quads. So let's talk first about where you are in a centered balanced position. If we were walking down a slope, you would start walking probably more like this. And the reason being is because if you were here, you fall on your face. But with skis, we have three feet of ski in front of us and two feet of ski behind us. We actually want to be in a perpendicular position where we're 90 degrees to the slope. As the slope changes, our body position will change a little. What that looks like is we have our ankles flexed, our knees flexed, a little bit of bend in our hip and our upper body a little bit forward. If you noticed that my my bottom of my leg will match my upper body so they're parallel. This is the proper position to be in a balanced position at this point. So let's look at what two turns look like. One in the aft position where your tush is way behind your boots and your bindings and one in the more forward balanced position. Let's see what that looks like. So if I do one turn, here we go. I'm in the aft position. It's very hard to turn. Let's look at what, look, what it looks like to do a turn in a more balanced position. If you see that, it's much easier to let your skis turn. There's no pressure on my quads and it's far, far easier on your body. Okay, so let's describe what balance feels like. So my weight is on the balls of my feet. Both balls of my feet, okay? Again, my arms are a little bit forward. I'm, I'm in a comfortable position ankles flexed, knees flexed, a little bit bent at the waist. Now I'm in a balanced position. My shin is just touching the front of my boot. I'm not on the back of my boot, I'm on the front of my boot. And we're gonna be in that position through all the turn that we do. All the turns that we do will be through that position. We're just pressed on the front of our boot. Let's go do a drill. The drill is we can have dynamic position and dynamic balance while we ski. Let me show you the drill. Skis together and we just up and down, 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 up and down. Let's talk about that dynamic position. That dynamic position, our weight is on the balls of our feet up here. Our ankles are bent, our knees are bent, our waist is bent, our hands are forward. And I just go up and down like this in this dynamic position as I ski. Okay? We also talked about our leg and our back being at the same angles. That's in a balanced position. Let's do one more drill. It's the 100 step drill. It works on your balance and as you ski. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the 100 step drill so we can get dynamic balance. Here we go. We just step as we turn.
That was the 100 step drill. It put us in a dynamic position. It allowed us to turn and feel our weight move as we skied and as we turn. You'll find you'll get into a centered position and be much happier when you ski. I'm Greg Manis. I am a certified PSIA ski instructor at Palisades Tahoe. Come learn to ski like a pro.